Hey everyone, it's been a while. Uh, that photo you saw in the beginning was taken in my yard uh, one, one evening towards uh, dusk. And this is a 30 by 40 inch canvas print I had made for my uh, sister's baby shower. She's expecting her first child and this is going to go in that kid's nursery. So excited about that. Um, so yeah, there's that. So yeah, it's been a while since I made a video about records. And since the last time I have, I've gotten a lot of good music, but today I just want to show you two records. Um, common thread between them is the human hand, what I'll call the human hand. Uh, you just hear and hear the humanity and then see the humanity in the packaging of one in particular. So much music these days, many, much of it is like just slickly produced, maybe overproduced or people just using the same type of plugins so it tends to a lot of it tends to sound the same and it's just nice to hear stuff occasionally where <clears throat> there's a little grit to it so anyways first time I want to show you this is a uh, Barbara Bush obviously Barbara Bush but they left the vowels out it's called blowy parts one and two this is a uh, Chicago collective of artists. There's 23 plus of them, all from different disciplines, and they all contributed to this album. Um, the really cool thing about this, other than that badass artwork, is that uh, it was handmade start to finish. So they used uh, recycled PVC vinyl material, recycled center labels, the record jackets, inserts, and inner sleeves, all recycled. And then the insert is printed on a um, 60 year old print paper. Uh, this is pressed by the band at Smash Plastic in Chicago. Smash Pla Plastic is a relatively new pressing plant there. Um, this is an edition of 100 and they have sold out so I'm really glad I got a hold of one of these because I love it. Um, this cover is a one of a kind handmade. They're all one of a kind handmade. Uh, so it's stenciled, hand painted, and screen printed. Um, it's UV and black light sensitive and it's stereoscopic. Uh, and you can feel kind of the raised ink, which I like. I think it's pretty cool. The back isn't so eventful. It's kind of it's kind of like smudgy to be honest with you looking, but that's all right. It's front more than makes up for it. Um, this is the insert, which includes a, one large photo of that collective of artists and then this side is a collage different photos of them uh, in this corner here you can see the smashed plastic logo so that's where it was printed again this is on 60 year old print paper recycled so pretty cool <clears throat> also sent this little sort of like a postcard thank you note or something and uh there's that side and on this side it says you deserve love you are lovable and I want you all to know you are and we are and don't forget that and it's so nice when a when a group just puts little handmade things like this that it just warms warms my heart it really does I'm serious <laughs> as for the record itself um, it is uh, 160 gram and it, it looks different in different lights like I think right there you can kind of see a purplish tint to it and there is that and there's a, kind of a brownish tint uh, you can see the center label is abstract and it's purple um, you can see a little bit of swirling in this it's pretty cool all recycled PVC material and the pressing quality is really good um, this obviously this is not like meant to be a, a hi-fi recording or a hi-fi album nor is it lo-fi you know like I, I was saying it's a bit gritty um, but very human. That's what I'm loving about these couple albums I'm showing you. So, if you're a fan of, uh, let's see, Midnight Vultures era Beck, if you're a fan of Tom Tom Club, you're a fan of, uh, the Bernie Whirl heavy, um, Parliament Funkadelic, you like the kind of absurd humor of Ween in the vocal effects they do, uh, and you like Prince, You'll love this album. It it uh, inspires you to get up and move, and it's just a lot of fun, and it's weird. 
it's eccentric, and I love those things about music when I find music like that. <clears throat> um, just funny, too. So anyways, that's, that is Berber Bush out of Chicago, collective of 23-plus artists, and they all contributed to this edition of 100. Awesome stuff. Next up uh, was also a somewhat of a blind buy. I just read the description. This is the Wawa Collectif. It is uh, called Yaral Sadum, which means educate the young. And it's a collaboration. Uh, many people were involved, but the two main figureheads were uh, Arana Kane of Senegal and Carl Vin Vinkvist of Sweden. So Carl Vinkvist was down in a place called a Tubab Diala. It's kind of like an artist community down there. He met Kane. He, uh, Vinkvist recorded a few improv sessions, got home with the tapes, and he and uh, Kane started exchanging files via WhatsApp and just building this album. Uh, so Kane had his musician friends contribute, and Vinkvist had his musician friends contribute. There's a lot of different instruments on there synthesizer, flute, sax, hand drums, uh, process vocals, you name it, guitar. Some really nice acoustic guitars, uh, slightly off kilter and warbly acoustic guitar, which I like. It really works well with this. There's some dub influence you can hear on this in the production. Um, what's cool about it is it it's not too overtly Western, nor is it too overtly African sounding. You know, it's it's just a good mix of the two. It really works well. They did they did good on this, and again, you can hear the humanity. And this is a rather joyous record. I, I can't understand the lyrics. They're in, uh, I think some are in French, some are in the the national language of Senegal, which is Wolof. Um, so it came with this booklet with the lyrics and the lyrics are printed part in French and then part in Wolof, I believe. Now in, in Senegal, um, like I said, Wolof is national language, but many dialects exist. And a certain percentage of the population speaks French. A certain population percentage of the population speaks English. You know, uh, colonialism, imperialism. So speaking of colonialism and imperialism, this was a fair and equitable record put out by Sahel Sounds, which I bet I think are out of uh, Oregon. So Sahel. The artists keep the rights to their music, <clears throat> and all the profits are spit, split 50-50. Um, you know, there's been kind of a tradition when Westerners go to Africa to um, exploit the population in many ways. In the past, it's been that way. It's getting better, though. It's becoming more equitable. Um, I think Paul Simon had a big part in that uh, with Graceland, so he made sure all those folks got royalties. And... Uh, were paid, you know, no exploitation going on. So Kane is a multi-instrumentalist, and then uh, Binkfist is a producer. Uh, on the back, come on, Aperture, go down. On the back is a list of all the musicians who contributed. And I like the packaging on this. It's a matte sleeve. Uh, the art is by B. Poye, Poye, I believe. So this is like a, it's like a Caribbean blue with a burnt sienna ink overlaid. Uh, this may be a map, I'm not quite sure. Really cool, pretty simple, pretty simple art with lots of different words that I don't know what it means. So anyways, Yarl Sadum by Wawa Collective means educate the young. You can get your hands on this. This was an edition of 300, I believe, and it did sell out, but I imagine they'll be pressing this again because it's really good. And I have left links to both of these releases, um, Bandcamp pages, so you can go there and listen to the whole album digitally, and maybe they'll press these again and you can get your hands on them. So that's going to be all for today, and uh, good talking to you all, and hopefully I'll be back soonish again with, to show you more records I've gotten lately. Um, Till then, be well. Peace. Come on, everyone. Let's get this place cleaned up. up.